Hello everybody! Today we're going to unbox, take a close-up look and test the SMTNI Digital Laser Distance Measurer. So let's first take a look around the outside of the box. So this laser distance measure or laser distance meter or laser rangefinder measures a maximum distance or range of 80 meters. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the box. And let's empty out the contents from the box. Okay, and we can set the box to one side. And let's start off with the case. And before I do that, that's the box and the contents emptied out. And let's go ahead and take a close up look at the pouch. So it does come with a pouch a carry pouch with a velcro or hook and loop fastening and there is a belt loop as well at the back of it okay let's go ahead and set that to one side and of course it does come with a user manual as well So front and back of the user manual. Okay. And we can of course set that down to one side as well. And let's now take a look at the wrist strap. So it does come with a wrist strap. And now we can take a close-up look at the SMTNI laser distance measurer. And so this is the front of the laser distance measurer. And of course, it is made of plastic. It does have a matte finish to it, which kind of provides a decent amount of grip. It's nice to see that there is a spirit level built into it. And just to give you a close up of the screen right here. and the buttons or controls to operate the laser distance measure. So this laser distance measure is IP rated for dust and waterproofing. There we can see a bar on this side for attaching the wrist strap to. Okay, 
Okay, so now let's go ahead and of course take a close up look at the specifications or details at the back label. It's nice to see that there is a tripod or screw mount there and the battery compartment. Okay, let's take a look in there. So it does take two AAA batteries to operate. So let's go ahead and find some batteries to pop it in and get it to work. So I do have a couple of Amazon Basics rechargeable batteries, which I've dropped one of them, but that's just fine. Found another one right here. So I've unboxed these batteries before. So you'll see them in one of my earlier videos. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop them both in. And then put the battery cover back on. And of course, we can turn it on by pressing on the on button. So let's go ahead and do that. And instantly you see the LCD light up nice and brightly. So it does have a white black lighting. And just to give you a close up look right there. Okay, so now let's go ahead and test it out very quickly by pressing on the measure button. And you can hear it beep as well. So it's just measured a distance uh, of 2.328 meters. So you can see very high resolution there down to the millimeter. So eight millimeters on the hundreds meter scale. And just to show you, I will hold it up and press the button and you can see the red laser. Take a measure right there of 0.242 meters. And let's press and hold and see if it does continuous measuring. And it sure does. And it's nice to see that it does have quite a good range being that my fingers or hands are very close to the front of the measurer and it's still measuring just fine. And let me press the button again. So you can see the last few recordings and the most current one being at the bottom row with the largest reading and the two readings above it show the maximum and minimum distances during that measurement. Just to show you the front, never stare into it, but you can see the red laser pointer or red dot. And of course the measurement lens right there. And there's also another thing to note is on the left, top left hand side of the screen is a reference position. So by pressing on this button right here, it will give you readings based on your reference point, whether being at the front of the laser distance measurer or at the back. So if it's measuring from the back, it will include the entire length of the laser distance measurer. So let's set it to the front so that it measures from the front onwards. And let's do that again very quickly. And just like that, it's measured 0.13 meters from the front where my fingers and the lens of the laser distance measurer 
of course, just to quickly show you as well. Let's measure the distance from where I'm holding the laser distance measure to the front of the wall right there. And of course, get that red dot laser in the screen as well. And there we go. 1.746 meters. So if I continue to press at different points, it will record all the measurements and push them up the screen. Okay, so very easy to measure distances. It also calculates areas and heights as well, but those are more complicated features, which I won't demonstrate as I've done many of these laser distance measures before, and they tend to run a bit long. So you can always look at the other laser distance measure videos which I have, and they have the same way of functioning in terms of measuring or calculating heights and different operations. Of course, there's something also that I should show is that it will measure in different units as well. So just by pressing on the unit button, it will toggle through to different kinds of units. So let me quickly take a measurement right here. Let me set it back to meters. Okay. So as you can see, this reading just done is 0.135 meters. And if I press on the unit button, it will toggle through the different units of measure. So feet, inches, meters. So three different units, meters, feet, and inches. So that's the SMTNI laser distance measure. Thanks for watching and happy measuring.